Okay, welcome to the video and I said we were going to do a laptop because I'm in the middle of doing a few things so this will be just a nice video for everyone to watch. This is a HP, where's the model number, HSTNN-105C, I'm not sure that's right. <laughs> right, model number... T6M283. Right, anyway. This one's BIOS password. It comes on and everything, but this BIOS password, I have tried to remove the BIOS password, which is proving difficult. I removed the uh, BIOS battery, the RAM, the ba every, everything. RAM. Uh, I just can't get rid of that BIOS password. So, we're just going to strip it. And... Since we're on the back, let's look at what kind of hard drives in there. ID, ID, ID hard drive. So I wouldn't be able to load it with Windows 10 anyway. I don't think. 80 gig. That's okay. Uh, compared to some of these streaming laptops they got now, there's no space on them. No space on them at all. And this 512, there should be enough one under the keyboard. battery we may or may not use it who knows but we got a gold pins there okay so let's have a quick look at the inside pretty fair condition right i mean that's not bad there and if you look at the screen it'll, like i said it'll come up but Bias password, I just cannot get past it. So, it's getting stripped. I'll remove the screws. Okay, so for this one, we've been using a combination of flat head, a small Phillips head, and a uh, star mount. So, I'll strip that off there. So, I've still got the board to get off at the back. keyboard for us and another 512 piece of RAM we do have a chip in here and we've got these copper plates up in here and this is the bias battery here so that's all you have to do usually to get a bias password off just unplug that battery and what i usually do is take out the ram and the main battery wait five minutes put everything back together except for that battery turn it on and then i'll reload them but like i said it doesn't always work so you know but that's what you gotta do i'm gonna continue taking this apart now and we'll get it down to its bare bones okay let's look at some of the things we stripped out of that laptop there this is the screen i've already cut off the rear inverter board a little bit of cable that we get in the corner the screen was actually okay but it's obsolete now so i don't need that no more and this was the foil that was on the screen so we don't need that no more either but I'll throw this with some alley sheet, I suppose. Okay, so this is the lid. As you can see, we've got all the brass lugs out. This is the invert board there, main board, sort of circuit board, our mouse pad, wireless, and a button board I had to rip off. 
a hard drive, a modem, a RAM and our inverter board. Alright, I'll grab some other bits so we can see what else we got from that. Okay, so we've got a little bit more pins here. This is from the PCI in my card slot. Our processor chip, this is another Intel one. Some USB slots. Got a little bit of copper with a copper motor. Our keyboard, so we've got some alley sheet on the back there. Some Mylar for silver recovery. This is that zinc style of material. We got our little brass lugs here, which I've been putting into this. I actually had loads of these in the bag and, and it fell and it just went all in the bottom of the bag. Uh, but that was all mixed, so I've got to separate it from the bits with the plastic. So I started putting them in there, ready for me to take the plastic off before I get them in there. Alright, so let's see what else we got. Okay, we also got our wiry bits. It's not a lot, but on this one, we got our wireless cables with the gold connectors. And I've been putting them separately in there. Loads of them to go through. And we got our DVD drive, which we'll put with the rest of our e-waste pile. Okay, so this is our waste material. We got these with the slight gold edge in here. This will go in reverse electroplating. I've got a few of these built up. Got the hinges here, but they got the uh, lead. On the end so I'll keep that if I can cut it off it'll come off in a minute one way or another right, there's one That lead, lead on the hinges. I keep that, and this is junk. It's going in my microwave, or oh, I've got PC down there to throw it in. And finally, this is my plastic waste. It's a much bit of it here, and that all builds up over time as well. So, like, share, subscribe and join me again for another video in a week.